Hello and welcome everybody to another game of Squirrels Baseball. I am Aaron and we are in game six of the World Series. Squirrels currently leading three to two. And we are back in Panpaca Park. Get such in there to pitch. So I did start the new job today, so that's why this game is coming later. Uh, if we go to game seven tomorrow, I think I will have a window in the early afternoon. Uh, kind of between getting off the new job and picking up the girls before trick-or-treating. But we've got to win this game. Or, well, if we, win, if we win this game, sorry, I said that wrong. If we win this game, we don't have to worry about what's going on tomorrow. So the Tigers thrashed us pretty solidly last game. Has me a bit worried. Especially in the last round with the Tigers going down, I think, 2-1 to one and then winning the next three games in a row. All right. Carlos Guillen is going to lead off today for the Tigers now that we're back in an NL park. No more DH. First pitch is called a strike. Second pitch is going to be a base hit into left field. Lead off single for the Tigers. That will bring Polanco to the plate. He has had a strong World Series so far as he takes strike one. That pitch down and in. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. One down, Soriano to the plate now. He'll look at strike one. Swing and a miss makes it 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down now, it's up to Curtis Granderson to keep the inning alive. He'll take strike one. And that pitch up and in. That pitch down and in. Two and one the count. Swing and a miss. Fouled away. Two and two the count. Pops this one up. Tom is under it. And that will end the top of the first inning. The Tigers with a hit, but no runs. Kester to lead off for the Squirrels in the bottom half of the inning. Take a look at the Tigers' defensive lineup. And it looks like we get Ben Sheets again. I'm trying to remember, I think Ben Sheets pitched the other game the Tigers won in this series. Though I don't believe he got the win. One and one the count on Kester. Three and one the count. You're done. Okay. Sorry, my younger daughter came in here to tell me she was done with her mac and cheese. Full count on Kester, and he puts this one into right field. Will it get down for a hit? It will. So leadoff singles by each team. The Tigers weren't able to advance their runner up to Marvin, though he has an 0-2 count. This one too far up and in. Two and two the count. This one just off the plate. Full count, nobody out. Swing in a miss, strike three. One down now, runner still on first. Chief at the plate, and he's back to playing third. Which I, I don't have the numbers in front of me. I feel like he hits better when he plays the field than when he DHs. In this at bat, though, he nearly grounds into a double play. He was just fast enough, though, to keep it out of fielder's choice. Two down, runner on first. Terry pops up to Guillen at first. And that will end the inning. A hit apiece for each team, but no runs. 
Jorge Posada due up for the Tigers in the second. First pitch fouled away. Grounds this one to first. Terry steps on the bag. That'll bring Brian Giles to the plate. First pitch down and out. This one down and out. 2 and 0. Oh. Swing and a miss. And this one misses the zone. 3 and 1 the count. There's a called strike to run the count full. Giles looks at a changeup for strike three. Two down. Brandon Inge now at the plate. And he'll take strike one. Swing and a miss makes it 0 and 2. This pitch a little too high. One and two the count. Pops this one up. Tom should take care of that one, and he does. And that will end the inning. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Frank is due up for the Squirrels. Still no score. First pitch called a strike. Frank with the ground ball to Morse, who throws over for the first out of the inning. That will bring Tom to the plate. Pops this one up, but it might be well placed. Yes, it does. It falls between Morse and two outfielders. So one out single for Tom will bring Zach to the plate. As he watches the first pitch go by for a ball. Next pitch called a strike. And a ground ball to first. Guillen gets the out at second. Back to first, not in time. Two down, it's up to Joey now, runner on first. This one gets away. So Zach now in scoring position for Joey, and he has a one and one count after that pitch. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. Ground ball to first again, picks it up, steps on the bag, and that will end the second inning. We're still scoreless as we go into the third. Mike Morse due up for the Tigers. First pitch is a curveball for a strike. There's another called strike, 0-2. A pitch down and out. Morse lets it go by. There's a called strike for strike three. One down. Ben Sheets at the plate. Has not gotten a hit yet in the World Series. Or presumably any time in the playoffs. Has an 0-2 count and he swings and misses. Strike three. Two down, Guillen at the plate, singled in his first at bat. Looks at strike one. That pitch runs down and out. This gets through the right side of the infield. Another hit for Guillen. Brings Polanco to the plate. Struck out swinging in his first at bat. One of five strikeouts for the Tigers the first time through their order. Has a one in one count in this at bat. Swing and a miss makes it 0 2. Swing and a miss makes it 0 3. Two down. Oh, actually, sorry, that was a third out. So no runs, two hits apiece for the teams now. Stitch is due to lead off for the Squirrels in the bottom half of the third. Now, 
no hits for Stitch yet as he takes strike one. Looks at strike two. And he comes through with his first base hit in October into right field for a leadoff single. That'll bring Kester to the plate. He's showing bunt. Pulls it back and the pitch is called a strike. And the next pitch is too low. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. Two and two, swing and a miss, strike three. One down now, Marvin at the plate. Only two strikeouts in the game. Marvin the first time up and Kester just then. Has an 0-2 count in this at-bat. Kester goes down swinging again. That'll bring Chief to the plate. Has a 1-1 one and one count. This should get down for a base hit and it does. That puts runners on the corners with two outs for Terry. He looks at strike one. Oh, and two the count. This one down and out. Terry lays off. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That ends the inning. We go into the fourth. Still no score. Alfonso Soriano to lead off for the Tigers. Soriano struck out in his first at bat. Takes the ball. Takes another ball. Called strike. Swing and a miss makes it two and two. Grounds this one back to Stitch. He throws it over for the first out of the inning. Brings Curtis Granderson to the plate. Popped out in his last at bat. And looks at strike one. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Curveball, swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Posada at the plate. Ground out in his first at bat. First pitch called a strike. This pitch is too high. This one stays fair. That's probably going to be a double for Posada. There he goes. He just makes it to second base. Two outs, though, so it's up to Brian Giles to try to keep the inning alive and score that run. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Fouls the second pitch away. Swing and a miss, strike three. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Frank due up for the Squirrels. Still no score. Frank takes a ball high. Swing and a miss makes it one and one. This is one called a strike. This one just inside. Two and two the count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. One down. Tom at the plate. Got a hit in his first at bat. <laughs> Sorry, can't stop yawning. Ground ball to short. That will give the second out of the inning. Bring Zach to the plate who ground out in his first at bat. Looks at strike one. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll end the top of the fourth. 
we are still scoreless. Brandon Inge coming to the plate for Patrick. Or for Patrick. I don't know where that came from. For Detroit. First pitch is called a strike. Second pitch, ground foul. This is a base hit into right, so the Tigers put another leadoff man on base. Brings Mike Morse to the plate. Struck out looking in his first at bat. This one down low. Called strike. Another called strike makes it two and two. This one inside. Full count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. One down. Runner still on first. Ben Sheets at the plate looking for his first playoff hit. Quickly has an 0 and 2 count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down. Carlos again. Two for two on the day. They'll stitch with 10 strikeouts. Runner takes off, and oh, he is in there safely. I think a little bit lower throw, and I think he was done for. Might have been done for anyway. Anyway, oh, and two the count on Guillen. Grounds this one back to Stitch, and that keeps it at one. Joey to lead off things for the Brewers in the first, or er, Bottom of the fifth. Sorry, the piece broke off of my CPAP and the replacement hasn't come in yet, so I am running on fumes here. First pitch goes outside. Swing and a miss makes it one and one. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. That pitch goes inside. Yeah, pitch is inside. Full count. Grounds this one to third. Inge will take care of it. One down. Stitch with the hit in his last at bat. Looks at strike one. That pitch too low. Ground ball to first. Gives us two outs in the inning. Kester at the plate now. See, looks at strike one. Looks at strike two. Called strike three. That'll end the fifth inning. We're still scoreless as we go into the sixth. Polanco to lead off for the Tigers. Polanco takes a strike. Puts this one into left field. Frank able to make the play, though. One down. That'll bring Soriano to the plate. He is 0 for 2 today. Looks at strike one. Looks at strike two. Looks at strike three. Curtis Granderson now at the plate. He looks at strike one. That pitch misses the zone. One and one. This one inside as well. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Two down. Sorry, three down. That's it for the inning. We go to the bottom half of the sixth. Marvin due to lead off for the Squirrels. Ball. 
he'll take a ball. This one too high. 2-0 oh the count. Get a called strike. 2-1 two and one the count. Grounds this one. Foul. 2-2. Two and two. Called strike three. That'll bring Chief to the plate. He is one for two today. First pitch goes down and out. This one just inside. Swing and a miss makes it two and one. Another swing and a miss. Two and two. That's going to be a base hit for Chief up the middle. Even rolls past Granderson to give Chief a chance to go to second. So runner in scoring position now for Terry to try to take the first lead of the game. Terry takes strike one. This one inside. Swing and a miss. Puts this one into right field. Giles gets, I wouldn't say he really gets under it, but he did enough. And Chief was nowhere near where he should have been on second, so he is doubled off, and that'll end the sixth inning. We go in the seventh, still tied at nothing, so we'll let uh, Stitch to keep pitching here. He looks at strike one. Does Jorge Posada. Grounds this one to Morse. One down. Giles 0 for 2 with two strikeouts so far today. Looks at strike one. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll bring Inge to the plate. Looks at strike one. One and one the count. There's a called strike to make it one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. That ends the top of the seventh. We get to the seventh inning stretch, still waiting on a score. Okay, Frank to the plate. Sheet's still in the game. Throws a ball. Throws another ball. There's a called strike. Grounds this one to Morse. Thought it might have a chance to roll through, but Morse able to make a solid play to get the first out of the inning. Sheets wipes his brow as he throws to Tom. Looks at strike one. Grounds that one right up the middle to give the squirrels their base runner in this inning. Up to Zach now. One on, one out. Looks at strike one. Looks at a ball outside. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Two down, Joey at the plate is ground out in both at-bats so far today. 
That one will stay fair. That's going to end up putting runners on the corners. Two outs, stitch the plate. Uh, let's let's let him hit. Fouls off the first pitch. This one goes towards the middle, but more is able to make a play. The gambit does not pay off. Guess I should have pinch hit like I thought about. We go into the eighth, still waiting on a run. Morris due up for the Tigers. Called strike one. This pitch up and out. There's a called strike. Swing and a miss, strike three. One down, sheets at the plate. Struck out in both at bats so far today. Looks at strike one. This one down and in. This one hit towards third. Chief able to snag it before it can hit the ground. Gives us two down in the eighth. Again back at the plate. Looks at strike one. That one down and out. Called strike. This pitch too low. Two and two the count. Called strike three. That'll end the top of the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. Squirrels with the top of their lineup coming up, and Ben Shields getting tired. And actually, it looks like the Tigers will go to their bullpen and find Joel Zumaya. All right, Kester at the plate. Looks at strike one. Hits this one to third. Throws over. One down. Marvin is struck out in all plate appearances so far today. Looks at a strike. That one called a strike as well. Ground ball to second. Bad throw, but good enough. Chief two for three on the day, but two outs here. Hits this one up the middle for another base hit, but he needs some help around him. Terry 0 for three today. A couple flyouts and a strikeout. I think. Something in the middle there. Swing and a miss. Chief is taken off, and he actually does steal second. So two strikes, but a runner in scoring position. As Terry puts a line drive into left field, that's going to give the Squirrels the first run of the game. RBI double for Terry finally gets the first run scored. So the Chiefs, or the uh, Squirrels, with the 1 0 lead. Frank at the plate now. Takes a strike. Takes another strike. Called strike three. Two down. Or sorry, that was a third out. Gets us to the ninth inning. Squirrels leading one nothing. Polanco at the plate. I didn't know if I was going to be able to get that substitution in Shibuya here. With the chance to put away the season. Not that he's been very reliable in the playoffs, but here we are. All right, Polanco 0 for 3 today. First pitch called a strike. Second pitch too low. This one, Chief grabs, but 
too high of a hop, and Polanco is able to leg out an infield hit. They get a pinch hitter, Soriano, being lifted for Miguel Cabrera. Number is not all that dissimilar, but I would probably make the same move given the choice. Strike one. Another high hop. Chief again with no play. Back to back infield hits. Brings Curtis Granderson to the plate. Brian Barton is going to come in and run for Polanco. First pitch to Granderson. Called a strike. Second pitch, ground to third. Chief does have a play here. Gets the lead runner for the first out. So still runners on first and second with one down. Posada at the plate takes a strike. That's a hit into center field. It will not tie the game. Bases loaded. Only one out. Brian Giles at the plate. Shibuya throws a strike. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Gets him to pop a fastball, but it's going to get to the seats, or actually off the wall. So 0-2 the count again. Swing and a miss. Huge strikeout for Shibuya. Brings Brandon Inge to the plate. Tigers down to their final out. And he's going to hit it towards second. Kester grabs it, and that is that. Your 2011 World Series champions, the Indianapolis Squirrels, four games to two. Thank you, everybody, for coming along for the ride this season. Uh, it's been a fun one. I, I did like doing the announcing. I imagine I will keep it up next year. Whenever that starts again, I'll have to go look. So yeah, we will see you all back here in uh, late March, early April, depending on when opening day is, and see if we can make it 5 for 5. Again, thank you everybody for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you in the spring.